Oh, James O'Brien. I think if you search the number of times I've tweeted James O'Brien, I think you might find it's two. If you search the number of times James O'Brien has persistently tweeted me, to the point where we had at my office a number of years ago, probably about 18 months, two years ago, had to write to Global complaining that his behaviour was stepping into the realms of harassment. That was at the point which I sent that tweet. If you search James O'Brien's tweets of me... I have. I have searched that because at the, at the other committee... Including you, not the ones at that the other com- At the other committee, you, you said that you'd responded to abuse from him, and I have actually searched that. Um, and I can't find this abuse that you talk about, but I have found you asking for James O'Brien to get the sack. You also implied that he had mental health problems. You said, I don't think he's a well man. He needs uh, removing from his platform abuse. And you said, I've had to, separate tweet, you said, I've had to email his employer a number of times. Now, I don't think it's appropriate for, for you as a politician to be trying to get somebody the sack. But let's move on to another tweet can that I you sent. The, can I answer that? Please point? do. So, Mr Chairman, just what I'd say is that, um, as, along with a number of female politicians, I am subjected to a small number of men who do tweet about me obsessively, aggressively and pleasantly, and James O'Brien is one of them. Oh, well, I can't find those, uh, those tweets that you mentioned, but here's something that you, uh, you did retweet about, and I'll quote it. I believe James O'Brien of LBC fame is a hate preacher, a liar, a misogynist, a UK hater, UK hater, and an apologist for Islamic atrocities. You're in no position to talk about James O'Brien saying uh, offensive things about you. You tweeted that. I mean, apart from being actionable and defamatory, it's grotesque.